Welcome to the Tech Me Show. Today I'm going to teach you how to take that Google uh, Windows Phone 7 uh, DLL, which allows the ad control, uh, and add it to your uh, Windows Phone uh, uh, project. So I've already created the project, which all you have to do is go to File, New Project, and create it as you want. Uh, in this case, I created it as Google Ad SDK. Uh, but before we can do anything, we need to check our references, and as you can tell, we don't have the Google uh, Ad SDK. Right click reference, uh, left click add reference, and navigate to your um, uh, Google Ads uh, SDK folder. Now, once you're here, you want to go forth and select the actual SDK folder and select the uh, DLL. And then you can either double click it or single left click the highlight and then select left click for OK. Um, so now that it's in your project folder, as you see, we need to basically say, hey, we want to use this baby. So let's go into the example. Google guide. We'll just call it. Then equal. And now let's navigate here, and here we are. Okay, so we have that. Now let's go down. Now again, we call it Googad. So now here is your main uh, content panel. This is where your information is. I like to press enter and have things organized. Um, so let's just real quick put a text block in, and uh, let's just say, you know, uh, welcome to the SDK example for instance and now most people will just put a bracket like this and have that well I think that's ridiculous and disgusting so let's get rid of that and put a slash and then in that with that little bracket there um, that way you know it looks more organized and again just so you know I didn't put a name here and I don't really need to because I'm not going to be using for anything important uh, but you might want to get into the habit of doing something like X uh, and then N and then calling it a uh, title welcome should you want to you don't have to I also do recommend you use styles if you're trying to look for that metro look and feel very important a lot of people really want that um, but now let's go down here and see if the <laughs> AdMob DLL is going to give us some more issues. Now let's go ahead and type our bracket here. And I believe we called it G. Okay, so just by typing G, it comes up. Gook Add. And let's go ahead and press Tab. Now we're given an option here. Application Bar, In-App Browser, blah, blah, blah. We want Banner Add, right? So let's go ahead and press Tab. And now Space, right? So now we're given a whole bunch of information here. Now... Um, we're going to go ahead and type name and we're going to call it uh, add control. Oops. Add controller. Uh, and then uh, we want to go ahead and have an add unit ID, obviously. Now, this is generated again once uh, you add an app slash site on the AdMob website, which I have in my uh, clipboard. Pardon me. Hopefully, it's still there. If so, when I do control V. Perfect. So th that's basically what you want to see. Why am I leaving this for you all to see? Because I hope you add it to your apps and <laughs> use my ad ID. I won't stop you. Uh, let's go ahead and press space again. Now, you're given a whole bunch of different things. Uh, you can make it so when the ad's loading to, you know, put a little progress bar saying, hey, the ad is loading, give it a second, and put something cute bouncing around, you know, something to attract the person's eye, and, you know, a lot of times when people, uh, I know it's probably a bad thing, but, you know, people see it, go, oh, that's cute, well, I wonder what happens if I click the bear, or whatever, bouncing, oops, it took me to the ad, ah, <laughs> tricky, tricky, uh, just kidding, I would not do that, um, and I bet you anything, um, you might get in trouble, um, but anyways, we're gonna continue to scroll down here, um, and mind you, you can make these ads uh, custom to the person, uh, like gender, and up above there was the birth date, and, and you know, just for uh, shits and giggles, uh, we're going to do gender, and I'm going to go ahead and do male. Now I'm going to do space again. 
Um, and, you know, there's a ton of different options, like GPS, which, you know, obviously will have the location of the person and give them an ad that's exactly to where they are. Uh, but I like to go forth and do is enabled and go forth and type true. Um, that's always something that's important. Um, and let's just go back into looking things in here. Um, you know, keywords and what have you. If it's loaded and if so, blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, I mean, there's tons of different options here, right? Um, but you get the idea, I presume, right? <laughs> and, you know, just to make sure, we'll go ahead and do visibility, visible. You never have to do that, but I'm just showing you different features that uh, you might want to add. Now, again, like I told you, if you don't do that slash and uh, bracket, you're going to end up with this another thing like that i hate that you know unless you know i'm doing binding and whatnot then it's a different story but otherwise kill it kill it like that so now just simply by typing that you have this line which now if we go into the uh, viewing uh, the ui uh, actually um you will see uh the uh, little bar here for um uh the ad control so let's go to the designer and reload Ta-da! and there you go there is the ad control now mind you we want to shrink that down uh and usually i believe it's uh, 480 by 80. uh right now uh it's at 450. uh but you want to stretch that baby so it's at 480 and you can tell that by uh holding this down just this single hold down uh, we'll uh, let you know. And now here, you can control that. You can go down to about 80 here. It can get tricky. It can get tricky. There you go. And another way, if you wanted, you could go in here and uh, change the height with, see, height right now is auto. No, we don't want auto, obviously. Uh, because I'm convinced they can detect, you know, if things are auto and whatnot over at Google and what have you, you know, uh, I don't know. I just don't think it's good. So we'll do 480 and we'll go up and uh, go to the height here and do 80. So now it's stuck in there. And now simply go forth and rebuild the solution. And as you notice, there's our uh, welcome to the SDK example, uh, which is right there. See, title welcome. Uh, which was very simple and we could shrink that up like that you know you always want to keep things organized you know keep things exact it's a good idea in a good ratio and now you see these linings here um if i go and you notice they match up saying hey this is center or see you always when it has suggestions like that you know stay to it i'm telling you uh makes your apps look better trust me so now, most likely it's not going to run because I just made this uh, um, ID. But, you know, let's go ahead and debug it real quick and see what happens. We'll load up uh, the emulator here. And again, it probably will not display uh, simply because um, I just created the add ID. Give it a moment. And there we have our welcome to the SDK example, which is nice. But anyways, our ad would display right here. Um, unfortunately, like I told you, it's a brand new ad uh, ID. Uh, but I, I will leave it active in case you guys would like to make apps under mine. <laughs> uh, but nonetheless, that uh, will conclude today's tutorial on how to add the ad mob um, DLL to your project. Um, so you can start making money with your Windows Phone 7 apps. My name is Lance Seidman. You can follow me on Twitter at, at Lance Seidman or also Tech Me Show at Tech Me Show on Twitter. Uh, we're also on Google+. Um, and, of course, as always, YouTube.com forward slash Tech Me Show. That's T-E-C-H-M-E-S-H-O-W. Again, thank you so much from Las Vegas. 
Uh, we hope to see you guys soon. And remember, every Saturday at 8 p.m., we have our 15-minute talk show, which we are either talking about tech or helping you.